Hello Blender lovers, uh, this is one for the Linux guys. If you're not a Linux user, I, I seriously think that you should consider switching. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while because I've got a cold and it will be no fun to listen to my runny nose for an hour. Uh, but this video will be short and sweet so I can manage. Uh, this time I'm going to give you a tool for command line rendering and it's basically just a short Python, uh, Python 3 script. Uh, and command line rendering has many benefits, one of which being that you don't have to actually run uh, the Blender user interface, so you can allocate more resources to your actual render. Uh, another one being that if it's a particularly demanding render, uh, you can just log into Teletype Terminal 2 or something, uh, kill the entire X session, um, and that will give you a lot more resources for your render. Okay, here is the script. I will give you a link in the doobly-doo, and remember to check the uh, without line numbers. And you basically just want to copy this and uh, put it in your text editor of choice. Mine happens to be Vim, uh, but I have already saved this in a file and I'm calling mine Blender because it's a hilarious pun on the Blender and Render. <laughs> uh, and what you want to do, oh and first of all make sure that you get the, the, uh, the shebang here. It's kind of important. And then go down to where it says change path to Blender to your path to Blender. So let's go ahead and do that. I keep my Blender in the user binary. Yeah, some people consider that a bad practice, uh, but it works, so I don't really give a damn. That's just how I roll. And then save and exit. Uh, okay, and I'm actually going to put this Python script in uh, uh, user binary 2 because uh, that will allow me to to run the command from from anywhere or you can just put the script anywhere you want and create an alias to it um, but I like to keep my stuff in, in user binary uh, because then I know where where I have it basically so let's go ahead and move Brender to user binary Brender and then go ahead and uh, change and make it executable. That's that's very important. Okay, now it should be executable too. So I'm just going to change directory into a. Uh, I made a short, uh, really dirty test file, so you can see how this works. And here we have test.blend. So let's run the script. And you see it gives you a list. Now I only have one blend file, uh, but it gives you a list of all the blend files in the directory. So I'm going to input one, and I want to render frame one, and I want the output to be called test render. And there you have it. Now you have a rendered file. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and uh, look at it. There. It rendered the file for us. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can go ahead and alter the script in any way that you want and uh, you can add to it and subtract if you want to. Uh, but this is a, it's, it's a very basic um, command line render assistant. Um, but it works, and I quite enjoy it, and I hope you will like it too. So this is Oscar from Blender Suite, signing out, and uh, happy blendering.